Local support for News 6 has been provided by the Northwest Ohio Educational Technology Foundation, Bowling Green State University, and the members of WBGU-TV. from St. Paul Lutheran, Napoleon City. Welcome to News 6. We have Renee Wenzel in the studio with our first story. Thank you, Ginger. We met Robert Heft, ex-mayor of Napoleon, for our first story. Among many other interesting things he has done is the fact that he was the person who designed the 50-star flag. How did it come about that you were chosen to design the flag? Just pure luck, I guess. What step did you take in designing the flag? Well, when I designed the flag, I didn't have the use of computers like we do today, so I actually cut out 50 stars out of cardboard and sat down on the living room floor and uh, laid them out till I got the arrangement like I liked them, and then I made the flag by taking the stars, their white iron-on material, like using mending sheets, and I took, uh, cut out 150 for either side, took a hot iron, and pressed those on. We heard that you have actually met Noriega. Can you tell us about it? I met General Noriega in 1987 when I served as a Grand Marshal the 4th of July in Panama for the United States Armed Service, him and the President, Eric Duvalier. And it was interesting, it's very timely now, and uh, I have definite opinions about the guy, but it, it, was, it was sort of neat meeting him. What is your response to the Supreme Court's decision on flag burning? Well, I definitely have one. Uh, I'm very upset with it, very disappointed, I might say. Uh, the symbol of our country, our flag, has been a symbol for 213 years. We haven't been able to burn it, and by the vote of the Supreme Court, they said it's all right. I've been traveling all over the country and will continue to travel, uh, giving my opinions until that is reversed in some manner. This new six is produced by the sixth grade class of St. Paul, Luther, and Napoleon City. Napoleon is located about 30 miles west of Boyne Green along the Maumee River. It has a population of 8,700 and was founded in 1834. On the 11th day of November, 1989, hundreds of Henry County residents attended the inauguration of the Henry County War Memorial in downtown Napoleon, Ohio. Our second story is about the memorial. Where did the idea for building this memorial come from? Lloyd Franz, a local businessman and veteran of World War II, had always worried and wondered why nothing had ever been put up to memorialize the veterans that gave their life. So he's the man that started it. How did you decide on the architecture of the memorial? Well, we contacted three different companies to get ideas, and the man that uh, proposed this uh, was the one we liked the best, and he could also get us the bronze soldier at the best price. How did it come to be that the memorial was located at downtown? Well, right from the start, we decided that when this memorial was to be built, it was going to be put in such a location that people could see it every day on their way to and from work, so they would always remember the sacrifices made by the people's names on here. Today, we try to tackle the question of whether girls should be allowed to play professional baseball and football. Hi, I'm Brian and I reporting for Kids View. The question for today is, do you think girls should be able to play professional baseball and football? Julie, what do you think? 
I say yes because girls have a right to play the sports they want. Dad? Yes, because girls are equal to boys in every way. They should be able to play what they want. Megan? Yes, because girls should be able to be able to play what they want. Thank you. This is Brian and I signing off for Kids View. Our last story is about Russ Borsman's unique hobby, owning and flying a T-34 airplane. We interviewed him in the hangar at Henry County Airport. What is a T-34 and how old is it? T-34 is a primary trainer used by the Air Force to teach their pilots. This particular airplane was uh, built in 1955. That makes it 35 years old. How many types of planes have you flown, and why did you choose to own this model? Oh, it'd be a guess. I've flown about 20 different types of airplanes, 20 to 25. And we acquired this airplane uh, mostly for the fun of it. And it, uh, it's an affordable airplane, as airplanes go and it's uh, relatively easy to fly. It also has the ability to do the uh, aerobatics, which we enjoy. What do you like so much about flying? Flying is, uh, is a hobby for me, and it, uh, it allows me to forget all of the other problems that I have. Uh, it, when you're flying, you're, uh, it's a freedom that you can't, it's freedom that you don't have on the ground. How high, how far, and how fast do you go? Typically, the airplane uh, flies about 150 miles an hour during cruise, faster when you're going downhill, slower when you're going uphill. It uh, will fly up to 15 to 20,000 feet, but those are not realistic numbers. It, uh, most of the flying is done 10,000 feet or less. And uh, as far as the range, it's about 750 miles. Uh, without factoring too much wind and flying till the tanks are dry. So. Bye for now from St. Paul Lutheran. See you next week with the sixth graders of Ham Hamler Elementary.